There were four teenage girls who lived in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Their names were Ying, Spicy, Nana and Sis. The girls had been best friends for years ever since they started school together and they shared an interest in ghost stories and horror movies. They had heard an urban legend about their school. According to the story, a girl went missing one of the school's bathrooms and it had been locked up ever since. The girls decided that they would break into the bathroom when nobody was looking and take a look around. I wonder what we'll find, said Spicy. Maybe we'll find the girl's corpse. That evening, when classes had finished for the day, the girls gathered outside the bathroom. The hallways were deserted and all of the other students had gone home. Ying used a hairpin to pick the lock and the door swung open. The bathroom looked clean, but it was empty. When they checked one of the stalls, they found a camera lying on the floor. The strange thing about it was that it was still working and the battery was full. Sis picked it up and started flicking through the pictures. There was nobody in the photos. They were all empty shots of parts of the bathroom. It looks like they were snapping photos in the dark. I wonder what they were up to, said Nana. Oh my god, I think I know. They were trying to capture a ghost. You're supposed to go into a dark room and snap photos and if it's haunted, a ghost will appear in one of the pictures. Ying was a little freaked out by this and she wanted to leave. Let's take a selfie before we go, Sis suggested. Ying, Spicy and Nana posed together while Sis snapped a picture of them. Then they left, switching off the lights and closing the door behind them. As Sis was on her way home, her phone started ringing. The call was coming from a private number. When she answered it, she heard a strange, rasping voice on the other end. Delete. It said. Delete. Then the call suddenly ended. Sis wasn't sure what to make of it. She assumed it was just someone calling the wrong number. When she got home, she plugged the camera into her laptop and started looking through the pictures again. When she came to the photo she had taken of the other three girls in the bathroom, she noticed something odd. Nana's hair looked strange. Sis decided to give her a call, but Nana didn't pick up her phone. A few minutes later, when she looked at the picture again, something was wrong. Nana had completely disappeared from the photo. Sis was a little frightened and she wondered if her eyes were playing tricks on her. When she took a closer look, she noticed that Spicy's hair looked much longer, as if she was wearing a wig. Sis was worried and she decided to give Spicy a call. Hey, what's up? Hi, something really weird just happened. Remember when we took that photo in the bathroom? Yes. Spicy replied. Nana was in the photo, wasn't she? Yes. Spicy replied. Well, she's not in the photo now. What do you mean? Spicy asked. It's just you and Ying in the photo now and your hair looks really long. All of a sudden, the call cut off. Sis tried to call her back but Spicy didn't answer her phone. When she looked at the photo again, Sis caught a fright. She almost jumped out of her skin. Spicy had disappeared from the photo and now there was only Ying standing on her own in the bathroom. Worst of all, there was someone standing behind her. It looked like a woman with long dark hair and pale white skin. Just then her phone started ringing. When she answered it, Sis heard a familiar voice on the other end. It was very muffled, but it sounded like Ying. Delete the photos, said Ying. Delete the photos. Ying, what's wrong? Sis demanded. Delete the photos. She repeated over and over. Delete the photos. Ying, where are you? Answer me. Sis demanded. Suddenly, the call cut off and Sis heard someone knocking on the door of her apartment. A chill ran down her spine. The knocking was loud and insistent. Who is it? cried Sis. There was no answer. Cautiously, Sis made her way down the hallway. The knocking grew louder and louder. Trembling with fear, Sis stood at the front door and put her eye up to the pee hole. She was horrified to see another eye staring back at her. 
she let out a scream and ran back to her bedroom. Grabbing the camera, she quickly deleted all photos on it. All of a sudden, the knocking stopped and there was an eerie silence. Sis' room's lights went off and when they came back in, all four girls were reported missing. The police searched for them high and low, but no trace of them was ever found.